ha, Zimbabwean. We've heard some good things about Zimbabwean women. And when I say good things about Zimbabwean women, you know what I'm talking about. In that department. Yes, what you're thinking about right now. Go for someone who matches your standard and stop calling women gold diggers. The ones with higher standards, they will have their men who match their higher standard. And you would never hear them calling them a gold digger because they match their standard. So when you're the one who's out of your lane and then you start calling women gold diggers, go for women like me. We have lost that. <laughs> What is good tea gang? It is your girl T. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, then smash the subscribe button down below. Turn on your post notifications to get notified every time I post a video, baby. Today I am back with another video. So I know I haven't been active so much lately. I was going through a lot of stuff in my life, stuff that I'm not ready to talk about, to share with my tea gang family. Uh, but I don't think I'll ever even be able to share it um, on this platform. But just know that I was fighting a lot of demons. You know, I was going through the most. Uh, but then I managed to push myself. So today, I said, let me shoot a video for my people. It's been a minute, you know. So today, I am here with a video called Unpopular Opinions About South African Men, specifically in Mujolo. Mujolo is dating. So these are my unpopular opinions. Anyway, let's get down into the video. <laughs> Number one, the first and my first unpopular opinion is south african men who are married going for younger girls i just don't understand this and i don't understand why you guys do that like it's just it yo it makes me tick it makes me so angry it makes me feel so disrespected like i can give an example of currently there's a guy who's been pursuing me guys he's married he's married he posts his wife on his status he posts his kid on his status and then he keeps pursuing me and uh, let me just tell you guys this guy is very very persistent and consistent <laughs> He's not giving up as if someone was not married. So I feel so disrespected because firstly, you post your wife, you post your family, and then you come after me. Like, I feel so disrespected. Like, what do you take me for? Do you think I'm seriously going to give you a chance when I can see you're posting your family? Like, really? What do you take me for? Like, what? Yo, guys, this thing makes me think about married men going for younger women. Like, just married guys, stop it, okay? It's a turn off. It's disrespectful to the girl that you're doing it to and to your wife mostly and to your kids. Like, it's so disrespectful, guys. Married men, stop doing that. It's, it's, it, no, 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 don't, okay? Why don't you go into an open marriage? I mean, these options are open. Or go for polygamy. There are some people actually go for it. They tell you openly that, nah, I cannot be with one woman. And they go for polygamy. Go for polygamy if you see that you can't be with one woman. Just don't do disrespectful stuff. Like My unpopular opinion number two is South African taxi drivers. I want to talk about South African taxi drivers. I need to get myself a car. I really need to get myself a car now. Because every time I get into a taxi, I know that a taxi driver is going to bother me. Especially if I'm sitting in front. Because, oh wow. Every time I get into a taxi and I sit in front, I just know a taxi driver is going to bother me. Guys, like, stop it. I don't know, like, taxi drivers, I don't know what is up with taxi drivers. But what they do is so annoying. And they make it so clear to you and open to you with him now. Hey, I just want, just want to smash for that time and leave. Yo, you know, I, I, I don't like it when men make me feel like I'm a piece of meat. Like, yo, guys, it's, it's hard being attractive, you know what? It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy being attractive, guys. People take you like a piece of meat. Like, it's so annoying. Stop doing that. Like, every girl you see, you want to smash. What's the point? I mean, 
obviously these guys have girlfriends but why do you do that i don't get it unpopular opinion is south african men thinking cheating is okay yo guys i know nate not only south african men who cheat like men cheat a lot but south african men they even make it okay they make it like they put it out there like you know what cheating is okay like that means that it's okay to cheat so cheating is so normalized guys feel comfortable with cheating they feel okay with cheating they feel like nothing is wrong with cheating and also the women have accepted cheating now because so yeah well it's not you know it's not on to me it's, it's not cute cheating is not cute so just stop cheating and then there's one that makes me tick another one that makes me tick calling a woman a gold digger because you're broke but to um, stop calling women gold diggers because you are broke don't call a woman a gold digger because you are broke some women have standards and it's okay to have a standard to say okay this is the kind of um men that i want this is my standard this is what i accept from a man this i don't accept from a man this is what i expect it's okay to have a standard as a person so people have different standards you know you just have to go to someone who matches your own standard so go for someone who matches your standard and stop calling women gold diggers the ones with higher standards they will have their men who match their higher standard and you would never hear them calling them a gold digger because they match their standard so when you're the one who's out of your lane and then you start calling women gold diggers stick to your lane and you'll see you never call a woman a gold digger go for women like me we have low standards <laughs> we have low standards so go for people like me and stop going for women who are up here above your standards they say you start calling mtona wabantu a gold digger go for your standard go for your type stick to your lane so this makes me tick don't call a woman a gold, a gold digger because you went beyond your standard let her be with people in her standard that she has set for herself and then there's one that is so funny to me where you guys want to forcefully make us submissive to you it's really let me be honest it's really hard to be submissive to a south african man um it's hard for a couple of reasons it's hard to be submissive to a south african man so you expecting me to submit to you forcefully so is not gonna work so i find it hard to be submissive to south african men actually it's so hard to be submissive to them it's easier to be submissive to a zimbabwean guy compared to a south african guy but it's topic for another day oxalayo guys south african men unpopular opinion stop forcing women to be submissive to you if i don't want to be submissive it means you are doing something wrong because women naturally they are submissive human beings so if i'm finding it a, if i'm finding a difficult time to be submissive to you don't push me or force me to be submissive to you because clearly you are doing something wrong and i've told you that there are a couple of things couple of reasons why south african men are so difficult to be submissive to story for another day <laughs> guys this one might sound funny but it's not funny at all i've um lately when i tell a guy that i'm actually zimbabwean if i tell oh i know they ask me what's your name i tell you my name and my name kind of sounds foreign you know my name is foreign <laughs> and then you ask me like your name sounds foreign i'm like okay i'm zimbabwean there's this thing that i've been hearing lately where they say ha zimbabwean We've heard some good things about Zimbabwean women. And when I say good things about Zimbabwean women, you know what I'm talking about. In that department. Yes, what you're thinking about right now. It's not cute telling me that. It's not cute. And I haven't heard it once. I haven't heard it twice. I haven't heard it thrice. I've heard it a lot of times. I've encountered it a lot of times where someone will say, Oh, I heard that Zimbabwean women are good and they they're talking like they want to have a taste of that the moment you make me feel like i'm a piece of meat i just automatically get turned off so it, guys stop it it's not cute you don't make me feel good about myself even when you tell me such things it doesn't make me feel like 
it doesn't it's not cute it's a bit disrespectful so stop doing that another unpopular opinion is south african men low-key body shame women low-key body shame women low-key guys if you don't have a nice curve what what body you don't have a nice butt just know that you're going to be body shamed for not having a butt low-key body shaming us slender women who don't have that yes i get so so emotional because i'm slender and i'm low-key body shamed guys it's okay to be a woman and not have a big butt it's okay to be a woman and not have big curves it's okay i am still a woman okay doesn't make me less of a woman guys stop body shaming us who don't have a butt that is so painful guys if it was up to me i would have one but not up to me guys stop body shaming us slender women it's so not it's not cool then another unpop another unpopular opinion is i want to talk about these three tribes venda tsonga zulu these men are so traditional and it ain't gonna work in 2021 if you want to be a traditional guy in 2021 it ain't gonna work you have to let go you have to to adjust to the times because these three tribes i've just mentioned are just so traditional and yes i have experience with one of these tribes that i've mentioned above and these men are so traditional it's not gonna work with women in 2021 so stop being so traditional and move with the times and this thing of looking at women and judging them by their looks judging a book by its cover stop being so judgmental stop judging women that you don't know by their looks you know i want to give an example of myself if you can meet me and we are out you can meet me maybe in a lounge you can meet me in a pub you can meet me wherever even in jail not even in a club you can even meet me on the streets and I've, I, I get it a lot where i am judged just in the streets if i can tell you what you, what i do for a living you wouldn't even believe me that's how people judge and when i tell them what i do for a living they get so shocked so stop judging people by their looks yeah we might be crazy out there but when i'm about my life i'm about my life and i'm serious so stop judging people by how they look you see someone has a nose ring oh she has a nose ring hey you start telling things she has tattoos ha <laughs> she has tattoos she has no future but soon i can have as many tattoos as i want and i can still have a future so stop judging people by that judging women by the clothes that they wear judging a book by its cover here is slay queen because she's wearing a long um brazilian weave so she's a slay queen hmm. guys stop judging women by how they look it's not on it's not cute the unpopular opinion about south african men is the fact of disappearing as soon as they give somebody a child yours a sensitive topic to me all the damn time all the time i'm so sensitive about this topic it is not cool to give someone a child and leave them to face it alone and it's so popular it's like a common practice to give someone a child you leave you leave the the person to to take care of the child alone firstly they're taking of the child they're taking care of the child alone the child needs to be fed the child needs to be bathed the child needs to be clothed the child needs to be fed she's doing all these things on top of that most of the men don't even send money to take care of the child so the woman now has to look for money on top of all the things that she's doing for the child in your absence i wonder how people who do this men who do this actually feel about themselves deep down inside how do you feel knowing that you gave somebody a child and and then you can't even send money for your own child your own blood half of your dna but anyway let's get down to the next <laughs> unpopular opinion this is the last popular unpopular on opinion about south african men 
um stop being intimidated by women who are doing well in life this i don't think this is only for south african men this is generally men generally they are intimidated by women who do well in life and if you're a woman who's doing well in life chances of getting a husband become slimmer and slimmer and slimmer so men are intimidated i've seen it people even say like a woman who's above my salary no i'm not gonna date her or a woman who has the same salary as me no she won't respect me so men are in easily intimidated by women who are doing well or women who are slightly above them or on the same level as them so hey buffet people like in the kind of jobs that we are in physiotherapy has my fellow healthcare workers women who are doing well and flourishing in this field chances of getting a husband buffet you have to look in your field maybe you can get someone but a hey, ref they tell you straight because nah, i can't be with a woman who's doing better than me in life me <sighs> intimidated by fate yes anyway we have come towards the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your family and friends tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend friend about my youtube channel and if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for what are you waiting for baby subscribe subscribe we are on the road to 2k subscribers and i will see you guys in my next video bye